and gentlemen, it's Alan Mike, back with another video, uh, video number two, 2020. Welcome to Comeback. We're full in. I think we're about two, two and a half weeks in. I did get sick, so I'm not real good at math, but a couple of gym sessions into the new year. Last time we talked about kind of where I've been in terms of YouTube, where I've been in terms of my mental space, and where I've been in terms of my fitness space. So if you didn't catch that, head back to that one uh, to kind of re-up on what's going on and what this series is about. Um, kind of getting better physically, kind of getting better mentally, and finding our own flow, which my flow may not be similar to yours, but something may resonate, uh, or you may just like watching lifting weights, or maybe you can teach you something on the way. Uh, today we're gonna talk a little bit about nutrition, my nutrition, general nutrition, some goals for you guys to um, kind of set for yourselves that's a little bit uh, more applicable than what I think the, 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 the general industry is teaching right now. Um, so. Before we dive in, be sure to give this thing a thumbs up. It really helps me, helps the channel. Be sure to subscribe. I really appreciate it, man. All the kind words uh, on my Instagram posts um, and, and the last video mean a lot. It really does. Uh, it feels good to have you all uh, having my back. So, nutrition. Um, a lot of you guys might know the basics, and so do all these Fitspo Instagram wannabe coaches running around. They know the basics, and they just keep preaching about it in the same manner over and over. Um, and that's just obviously not working because uh, people aren't reaching their goals. America's still obese, and you guys are still searching for answers to simplify uh, your nutrition in your life. Now, we all know by this point, because of everyone on the internet, that a calorie deficit, uh, eating less calories than we burn a day, is how we burn fat. And that's great. That's like the, the, the you know, the thermogenic science behind it. That's how it works. And that's absolutely awesome. And tracking your food, weighing every single thing you eat before you put it in your mouth, is the most precise way to lose weight. We also, a lot of us already know that, and if you don't, that's probably something you should try, to weigh and measure um, every single item of food you eat in a day, track it in an app or write it down, and know how many calories you put in your body. You can break it down into macronutrients, protein, carbs, and fat, and then allow yourself to progress probably most optimally that way. Um, but there's habits and things that are probably more important to build into your routine, little things that allow you to progress and stay uh, consistent over time. Everyone's always arguing about these nutritional strategies, and a lot of nutritional, excuse me, nutritional strategies work. But the number one thing is adherence. And that's the point of a coach, that's the point of a professional, that's the point of actually knowing a topic. Rather than just regurgitating what I heard from another influencer or coach and spitting it to you guys, knowing how to deal with humans, once you know a subject, you can break it down and find different ways to, to coach and help someone along and, and find, troubleshoot what, what their issues are. And that's the same with lifting. People can see a squat and say, oh, you're supposed to force your knees out because everyone yells, force your knees out in a squat. But that's only a particular cue that is probably only applicable to a certain type of person, not only mentally that can connect to that cue, uh, but secondly, someone who actually needs that cue to, to fix perhaps a bad habit in their squat. That's not a generic squat cue. Um, I guess it is a generic squat cue, but it's not a particular squat cue, which we're trying to um, help people. And same with nutrition. So um, I've obviously tracked my food for a very long time. I know how to diet. I'm pretty good with my protein, carbs, and fat when I want to be. I'm highly addicted to food. I love food. I'm a big snacker, and that's one of my downfalls. And that's something I think a lot of people downfalls are. So when we're talking about just simple things to do to lose weight, to build muscle, to stick to our goals nutritionally, um, some things for me is I always focus on uh, protein first. So I do like to eat out a lot. It's just part of my lifestyle it's faster i sometimes going all day long because i have youtube podcast my real business and work of coaching <clears throat> and building products and then also twitch stream which i'm live all the time for five six hours a day so i don't have time to cook all the time so i'll order out and then when you look at a menu which we're going to do a full day of eating soon kind of show you guys what's up with it um, and how i order how i pick things apart but I'm always focusing protein first. Um, whether you're going through a fast food joint, um, maybe even a sit down restaurant, majority of my plate, I want to be protein and some kind of vegetable. Um, past that, you've got to aim for some kind of carbohydrate. Um, it depends on your training, it depends on other things, obviously, if you're gonna go a little bit higher fat, a little bit uh, lower carb, or a little bit higher carb and lower fat. Those particulars don't matter as much as long as you stick to them. Um, but I try to be moderate everywhere and highest of my protein when I'm ordering out, that's gonna be your best bet. The other thing, focusing in on hydration, making sure you're always drinking um, some kind of liquid. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of diet soda, everyone talks mess on it, but we can dive into that later if you guys hate on it. Um, drinking plenty of water, uh, but first thing you can do is start to cut out calories from what you drink. If you're a big smoothie person, I get it, there's a lot of micronutrients in there, um, but it's also insanely calorie dense if you're trying to lose weight. Cutting out your coffees, instead of doing a fropa maca caramel chocolate yado, uh, just get a black coffee. Maybe a little bit of milk in there, maybe a little bit of non-fat milk in there, maybe just a tad of cream or maybe some, um, you know, low-cal or no-cal uh, sweetener in there. 
easy ways to start cut out things, build habits around that. Um, for me, it seems so simple because I've done it for so long, but uh, a lot of you are still ordering the mocha frappa. You know, you know who I'm talking to. Not, well, not only are you gonna save money because you're spending $20 on a very mediocre cup of coffee, Secondly, you can enjoy what actual coffee tastes like rather than just having a milkshake for breakfast. Uh, and thirdly, you're going to lose calories. You're welcome. I just saved your whole 2020. Um, those are kind of the basic nutritional strategies that I'm going to right now. I don't really want to track. Uh, I obviously have gained a lot of weight, but I was eating like a total, you know, junk monkey. So I'm trying to uh, total trash bin. So I'm just trying to chill, eat a little bit of protein. Um, Greek yogurt, something I have around the house, a little bit of cereal for my post-workout, uh, get some of those carbs in. And otherwise, I keep it super simple. Um, I do like to cook. There's about two days I kind of don't stream. Uh, we're streaming every Monday through Thursday if you want to hang out. Um, so the other days that I'm not streaming or YouTubing, I do have a little bit more time to cook, and I might cook up a little bit of ground turkey, ground beef, something like that, um, burrito bowls. Comment below if you guys want that full day of eating. Um, we were thinking maybe showing you how I eat out, what I cook, and maybe even grocery store shopping um, to kind of stick to my plan. And again, I'm no bodybuilder. I'm not shredded to the gills, um, but just some simple things uh, to allow us all to progress a little bit better together. Um, I got really fat as part of the process that I am dealing with. I know there's a lot of comments like, seems really dumb that your professional um, therapist told you not to work out anymore. Uh, she obviously doesn't know anything. You guys don't know what I'm going through and what's going on through my mental thing. Um, if we're talking about troubleshooting the squat, let's just hypothetically say there's a hundred variables that could go wrong in the squat. And once you know a lot about the squat, you can attack those once you've worked with that individual client and their individual issues. We don't know their past knee problems, their past you know, body mechanics, et cetera, et cetera, how they move, what, what's wrong, what's tight, what's not. Now think, think of a human psyche and how many things over the 31 years on this planet have built me to be me. Um, so for me, it's taking a, a step back from the gym, taking a step back from my nutrition and trying to be so meticulous and putting so much pressure on myself uh, was what I needed. So uh, just to clarify that a little bit, because there's a lot of comments, um, a lot of really supportive comments. I do appreciate that because uh, it's not always fun to get ridiculed when I'm so vulnerable. But um, a lot of comments saying you just don't know. You don't know until one, you're, you know, gone through the school of psychology and two, until you've dealt with the individual because we're so different on what we need and how we need to be fixed. So I took a step back from all that, but um, we're in it. We're in it. So uh, appreciate you. Uh, uh, stick around. New video every Monday and uh, new podcast every Wednesday. And uh, we'll be live on Twitch Monday through Thursday. Appreciate you.